Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and we're still in uh, Fantasyland. And I'm going to talk to this naked emperor right over here. So the emperor and his new robes, apparently. So let's check out this. Raw meat. Okay, never mind. So let's get back onto uh, Unicorn Roach. Run, Roach. And, well, three magic beans. So what? it's either the three bears or the three little pigs. No, what? Grandmama's Any home and long logs. Hmm. Anise. Call mine Roach. Roach? Are you serious? Ugh. So I'm guessing that long logs is over there. And she's going to be the one that's holding the yellow bean. Then the three bears will probably... The three bears will probably be the... Uh, is that the rat lure? Never mind. The three bears will probably have the blue bean. And then Grandmama's house for Red Riding Hood will probably have the red bean. So I want to see everything. So let's talk to the girl who sells flint. Mm. Yeah, the girl who sends, sells flint first. Because she's all already pretty close as well. So let's go there first. Uh, and suddenly everything is white. Do I need to help out Sienna? Maybe I should. Is she fighting them? Okay. So let's see, there's even a contract board over here. So... Uh, what? I think the little flint girl is selling drugs. Okay, then. Care for a cigarilla? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? <laughs> what tale are you from? Sold flints when I was a lass. But no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Her voice is strangely if it's not the new adult. Of kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find his keepers, sweetheart. Okay. What's the deal with the ribbon? The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from a Torius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the Ripon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Well, if we're gonna attempt to, uh, heal Sienna... touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers. Holy shit, she's rude. That's not the uh, little girl that sells flints. But hey, come on, give Sienna the ribbon. Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, <laughs> oh, 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 of course. Oh, 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 oh. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? Am I seriously gonna play Gwent against a fairy tale character? Well, pay you for the ribbon. What else do you have to sell? Or let's play for the ribbon. Let's play cards. All right, let's play. If you lose, you give me the ribbon. Don't get your hopes up. None can best me at Gwent. Okay, here we go again. Uh, I'm not gonna go with Squiretel. I'm gonna lose with Squiretel. So let's go Northern Realms again. Start game. A pretty nice set of starters. Should probably go with this one, Golmia, yeah, okay? And then we'll remove Vesemir as well. Oh, clear weather, that's great. Okay, opponent's turn. Here we go. Start off with our spy. Give me two extra cards. There we go. Biking Frost. Hmm. Maybe let's start off with the siege weapons. Biting Frost, not gonna help either of us. Let's put more siege weapons on the board. Oh, there's Nova. Nova from the books, the archer that uh, accompanies Gerald Gar and uh, Regis and Dandelion and the whole gang during uh, their quest for Ciri. Okay, there goes Ciri. Uh, let's use our leader card. 
putting us just over their cards. Maybe I can force them. No, nope, not yet. Could force them to uh, pass the opportunity up. So let's put Siri there as well. And hopefully she forfeits. No, nope, still no forfeiting. Still no forfeiting. I'm still up by one. And I wouldn't like the rest of my cards, so... Hmm. Is there anything else? Well, I'm going to use Old Gears whenever I can put him next to Philippa Alhart. Oh, wow. Well, that's good. She only has two cards left, so I'm going to take a chance here and pass. There we go. So that's good. Uh, let's start with one of these. Oh, she has only one card left. Huh. Well, if I put it like this, a double, so I can pass myself. Still have four cards left. Two of them are weather cards, though. And I get another card. Oh, and it's dandelion. Okay, I think it's over. Let's start off with this guy. Oh, it's a clear weather card. Okay, yeah, okay, it's done. Never mind, I'm not even going to put my other cards there. We're done. There we go. Give us the ribbon. Rumpel, you're good at this. A word once given. The ribbon's yours. Now skedaddle. Okay. Thanks for that. Now I do wonder what's on the board. Sianna isn't happy for some reason. She got a ribbon. But it is kind of funny that she made that they made her <laughs> Is All that right. a goat with a with pants on? What? What you want in return. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I hmm. thank you. We are doing this out of the kindness of our hearts. Ooh, look at that, a smile. I do want to head back, because I want to check out the board over there. Beyond Hill and Dale. I have a feeling this might be a pretty long episode, by the way. Uh, so let's check out the contract board here. Get your mitts off my mattresses, Princess Alexia. To the Joker who's always stuffing things under my mattress. I'm warning you for the last time. If I catch you, I'll have you lashed, scalded, flayed, and finally torn apart by horses. Seeking owner of glass slippers, so we know what's, what that is about. We'll take unwanted children. I'll take any unwanted children of your hands. Chubby ones preferred. Their skinny ones won't be turned away. While well, we killed the wicked witch. I actually want to read this. At last night's ball, I danced with a lady with blue eyes and blonde hair tied up in a bun. At the stroke of midnight, she left, leaving behind a glass slipper. Each woman in the land of two thousand fables is to appear before me to try on the slipper until I determine the lady's identity and in due course propose matrimony. Failure to appear will be punishable by flogging. Fresh goods, tobacco, fish, tech and liquor from absent to Everclear, the girl who sells it all, formerly known as the girl who sells flint. Information wanted, one of my eggs hatched into something ugly, I expect. I suspect Madame Duck cheated on me with one of the six swans, though she denies everything. I'll pay good coin for evidence of her guilt, full and an anonymity assured, Master Duck. I'm gonna take this one. Contract Lucy Disgoosey. Residents of the fabled land, somebody's after me. Ever since I moved here from the castle in the clouds, I feel like I'm being watched. Help me before it's too late. I'll be the goose, known as the goose that lays the golden eggs. Yes, I know Joss is say says it's him, but it's not. Because he always lies. So, contract Lucy this Goosey. Is that a quest? Yeah, okay, Duck Duck Goose. Let's do this first. Do you really aim to concern yourself with that? Look at that! So you should never abandon poultry in distress. Look at that! It's Puss in Boots! It's Puss in Boots! Can I talk to Puss in Boots? I can't talk to Puss in Boots. This is fucking amazing. Sorry for the fucking. Uh, let's get on to Roach again and I'll see you guys. At the goose's home. Oh, the three little pigs' homes. Story, don't you? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Looks like big bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Rick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words. One being lies out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Yeah. So I don't know where the house of straw and wood is because I don't really see it so let's see Tumbelina hello Tumbelina you stepped on Tumbelina that was my favorite no day. no no I didn't step on anything Why is that because it wasn't about a princess tales about princesses are insufferable oh um sorry for that that was not what I intended to do 
Where's the pigs? She was talking about the pigs. So slaughtered a lot of uh, pixies again. I uh, accidentally... What the? A Wolpertinger. I don't know all the fairy tales. So I'm going to probably miss a few. Okay, so yeah, over here. So there's the house of wood. Well, we're going to do this now that we're passing through. And there's the house of hay. Okay. Hello? Knock, knock. Hello? Hello? Oh, seriously? I need to blow that down? Well, that's... Oh, they're actually enemies. Okay, fuck. They didn't like that. So these guys attack like boars, so... That's one more down. Oh, he's down. There he goes. Okay. Some magic dust. Only magic dust, probably, because the bears, I think, were guarding the uh, blue. Except maybe. Oh no, they are guarding the blue bean. The big bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a bean. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. Yes, we do. Is that so strange? <laughs> Why so shocked? Well, when you arrived, all you did was pout and mumble things in that graffily monotone. And now this. A jest. And a good one at that. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must Is looking. she warming up to me? Because that sounded like she's warming up to me. Um... I don't want to go to Beyond Hill and so, Dale. Let's first... You like it here? No. Got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. A bowl of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. Okay, so let's try and find the goose's house. Because the guy playing the flute is still over there. Uh, let's see. So we're almost there. Let's see if we can't find the goose's home. Probably the one on the right over there. It's quite a big home for a goose. That's pretty big for a goose. Hello, Madam Goose? Four-leaf clover. Okay then, maybe I can use that for something. Come on, Sienna. Feather broken. It was a fight. Okay, let's follow the feather tracks. Oh, what the? Okay, Sienna, don't goose feathers wander in my way. It's been flapping its wings. When did it just get plucked? Watch out, pixies! Yeah, indeed. Jesus, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Now they're dead. Jesus, there's always a hell of a lot of those and they don't drop any loot either. So let's see, there's more feathers over here. There, in the trees. Some kind of camp. It's not really in the trees though. The golden X will be ours. Okay, the bandits. Bandits, dwarven bandits. Oh, there's a archer in the back. Show me what you got. Oh shit. They got a lot. There we go. But why keep her in a cage? Eggs from free range birds are so much better. Oh well, where's the key? Uh, here's the key, cage Got key. It. Hello, Mrs. Goose. Let's open it up. Oh, she doesn't talk. Good thing you posted that notice. Never would have found you otherwise. How does she? Right notice. I shouldn't be surprised, right? 
Oh, look, she laid a golden egg for you. <laughs> <laughs> if only all my employers were that generous. Would have preferred a magic bean, but not about to complain. Okay, so let's go back to Beyond Hill and Dale, because that apparently finished that up. Really travel all the way here for a Nature of the job. I don't believe it. You must have had another reason. Hmm. Well, spent a few idyllic months in Beauclair some time past. Part of me wanted to come back, I think. Visit to Sanhouse and you'll always long to return. Okay. Did you What's like Anna next? Do you jest? I adored her. My darling little sis. So adorable. So sweet. Yet that when sounds sarcastic. From the palace, she didn't so much as peek out of the window. She might not have known. Maybe just couldn't. And could she also not grant me amnesty when she was crowned? Please. Yeah, indeed she do. She does have a point. Okay, so where are we now? Is this... Yeah, this is Grandmama's house. The big bad wolf is out on the floor, apparently. Dressed as Grandma already. Hello? Can we talk? Shwombotch, my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. <laughs> oh, Fiona. A bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. Uh, the she's also under my boot. You. Um, have, have a drink with us? We're looking for the magic beans, yes. yes. Looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Ah, uh, right there, the threats. Sianna to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little Red Riding Hoods popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good now, what's at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter, which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Okay, Shut so off. the big bad wolf murdered Red Riding Hood and the hunter. Sold off. Um, let's go check in the wild then, I suppose. It's one prickly wolf. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. <laughs> now you're jesting. So what now? So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Yeah, Sienna. All right, we'll, we'll do so. Okay, now yeah, we know that's a well. We need to go down there. No need to drag this out any longer. Hey! Right. Jump in the well. Break a leg. Uh, I'd rather I not break a leg. Oh, oh God! And now there's a corpse of a woman down there. Oh, Jesus Christ! And I can find because this loops further. Is there anything else here? There seems to be a cave over here as well. That's probably the way out. I'm assuming. I love the music in this level as well, because it's really fitting. And the wolf said that the hunter was thrown into the well as well. <laughs> as well as well. There's a chest here, so let's loot that really quickly and let's surface. Ole Lukoje's notes. 
It is seven years today since we last saw Siana and Anarietta. The spell is really starting to decay now, and some of the residents of this land are beginning to go mad. The wolf murdered Little Red Riding Hood and the hunter. The witch roasted Tum Tum alive, along with the seven Hongforsians, seven dwarves, I suppose. And Pixies attack anyone who comes near. We sought shelter in the clouds, but the giant drove us away. Our last resort is the ship of King Trussbeard. We are planning to wait the worst out of it out in the middle of the lake. Okay, we are in the middle of the lake, so I'm gonna guess they died. Whoever that was. So we turn to Siana. 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 I should start calling her Siana. Oh, what is... Oh, yes. Any luck? Yep. Look what I Those got. animals. I that forgot how you should you. call that me. in English. Because I think it's different in Dutch. Because I'm I from look? Belgium, by the way. Wow, stunning, actually. Um, not bad, not bad at all. Don't know much about fashion, so so. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad at all. And another Let's smile. See the big bad wolf. I wonder guess. if this level is counting her smiles. Granddaughter. Mm -hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Why is he German, by the way? Sianna can play Hood. Not a problem. Sianna can take her place. What? Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But Grandmama, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? The better to eat you with, my dear! So, German werewolf grandma. Oh, shit! That was fast. The big bad wolf. So let's uh, use the oil. Oh, shit. I don't think I have a beast oil equipped, but that's probably not it. Werewolves are cursed, so cursed oil. There we go, fire damage. That should... Uh, okay, Siana interrupted it though. And he's almost down. There he goes. Down goes the big bad wolf, and let's cut him open. Remember what Joss said about the red bean? A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm -hmm. Is that Goldilocks that hair down. that's floating around this place, actually? Ooh. Caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. There we go. Red bean complete. Well then, one step closer to our goal. Indeed we are, and she looks happy what? for some reason. Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Well, uh, now that you're proposing, tell me what happened. Well, since you brought it up. I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone. Without a copper. In a torn lace dress. Right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me. Or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. You were stronger than that. the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. 
I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They in fact, they in. can. We set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly, and eventually I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Hmm. Maybe you should have stayed there. Maybe I shouldn't say that, so been through a lot. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. That minstrel being Dandelion, I'm of course. Angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. Yes, indeed. Let's go. So two more places we need to visit, and I am going to visit the three bears first, because I'm gonna suppose that the last bean is in the tower with Goldilocks, with Longlocks. Rapunzel, as you might. Uh, but with that said, I'm gonna take a little break, though, first in uh, Fairy Tale Wonderland. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give the dot to subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate it. Any support you guys can give me. And this writ work right underneath a rainbow, apparently. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye!